Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another vlog where we're just watching me practice snooker for some reason. I don't know. We're here now. Uh, but where is here? Where am I practicing today? Well, let's have a look. I'm practicing in Wakey, bloody Wakey, uh, at St. Michael's Snooker Club. If we drop the little man, we will see where we are. And not the most inviting of places that door i mean there's a bus in front of it for a start uh i wasn't even sure if i could park on this road i just had to risk it it was dark it was late uh but <laughs> there we go so yeah it's um yeah a bit of a sketchy basically it's a great place if it looks like somewhere where you would get murdered and when you walk in it doesn't help either because this is what you there's a light flickering at the bottom and i, I tell you honestly let me play it again because that <laughs> straight away i thought Am I gonna die? I think I'm gonna die. Uh, and it was, it was, it looked like it was straight out of a horror film. However, I don't wanna knock it too much because once I walked in, very nice, very pleasant, nice enough. You know, you'd had snooker tables. What more do you want? And here it is. There's the view, and uh, there's my table. And now the first thing that they asked me when I walked in was, uh, "Are you a member?" And I obviously, when I, when I'm working away and I'm playing snooker i'm never a member so i have to say no uh and then uh they i, I felt like this club because all the other tables look really really nice but this club and the person on the bar who was very pleasant said okay no problem and they gave me this table which by far was the worst table in the club uh one thing i did like though was this scoreboard i've never seen a scoreboard like this so you just press the ball that you've potted and and then it adds it all up and then you add you press the, the the sort of rectangle button to add it to your score what i love it so much it's so cool uh as you can see by the floor a bit battered the cushions were bare absolutely <laughs> they were bold uh and, and these are the pockets these are the pockets and i'm pretty sure not this pocket but this other pocket you could hear the ball sliding on the slate um so it was rough it was a pretty rough setup again i think they just gave me a rough table because i'm not a member the other tables looked fine so anyway let's go into the footage so here i am i'm doing just a traditional lineup here so nothing uh mad um because i don't know i, I still haven't cleared the lineup and i've got you know a, a century doing the lineup in solo practice but I want to try and build up a bit of a, a scoreboard of my records on camera because doing things on camera give me a little bit more gives gives the practice a little bit more of a like an edge you know it gives me a little bit more pressure which I think is really important because it's hard to practice pressure um, so I, I like trying to do a scoreboard so I, I don't think I've done a lineup yet um, on the channel so yeah uh, we'll we'll see so i'll just keep a track of my record um so it's a pretty standard lineup two below the black two reds below the black five between the pink and black six between the blue and pink and then um two above the blue that's the way i do a sort of standard lineup and what i try and do early on i try and just get it out the way is just get rid of the two below the black because I hate those two and i know some people practice with three and four below the black and all that sort of stuff um i'm just trying to be nice to myself because i'm on a i'm on a foreign table here uh with bloody bald cushions and sellotape on the floor so I, i'm just trying to trying to <laughs> make it as easy as possible um so yeah it's it's so i've got rid of those two this was probably attempt i would say attempt four or five of the night um so by no means was it my first attempt and you know i i, I it's so difficult playing on different tables but i i like doing it because you you have to adjust you have to if you're an amateur snooker player you will play on all sorts of tables it always drives me mental when amateur snooker players complain about table conditions like they're like a professional like if you're playing in a league or in a tournament yeah it's nice to play on a star table or a rasson table and have heated you know tables and beautiful brand new snooker balls to play with and everything but 
I mean, if you, if you, if, you know, realistically, that's not going to happen. You're going to play on some rough tables. Hopefully you won't. And a lot of clubs are getting better at making sure the conditions are good. But sometimes you just, you're just left with it. Um, I'm not sure why there's such a long pause, so I'll skip to the bit where I actually hit the ball. Yeah, there you go. I don't know. I don't know why there was such a long pull. I must have been waiting for someone to take a shot. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Something about balls, stroking balls, touching balls. I can't remember. Um, yeah, uh, snooker tables conditions. So th yeah, this 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 table was it was rough. And yeah, there's a bit of. Um, I'm using a 360 camera here, so you can see there's a little bit of. I don't know, sort of. Where the, where the one camera stops and the other one takes over, you can see there's a little bit of a, a weird blur in line. So there's there's a bit of a double effect sometimes. So what are we on? We're on a 33 so far. Um, uh, and it, the, th the thing with the lineup is... That's a bad shot, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Look at that, right on the cush. Get your hand on the table, Mike. Um, always got the AirPods on when I'm practising. Uh, but yeah, I think with with the lineup, I think what what it's good for because some people say, oh, it's a bit easy. Is it proper practice? Look at that! Did you see that? There's a bit there where the the blue wobbled back on its spot. What's this? I hit the blue. <laughs> I just knocked the blue off the spot, and then it just wobbled back in. Those are the conditions we're playing with. Um, I forgot what I was saying again. Something about complete bollocks. Um, yeah, the lineup. <laughs> it's um, it's 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 good for just knocking balls in a row, because when you when you want to practice really, especially before a match, all you want to do is get the muscle memory going. I don't really want to challenge myself too much if I'm before a match. This isn't before a match. I don't know why I'm saying that. But even if I'm not playing that well, I'm just, you know, I just want to get that arm going. I want to get some muscle memory, you know. So I really knocking in something over a century on a lineup is is for me like a, yeah, I should be doing that, you know, quite regular, at least once every time I play a, a practice session on my arm. Um, doesn't always happen, uh, but you know, we we give these things a go. Um, I'm trying to say things that are useful. Oh God, they're, they're quite loud on the next table. Um, I always put my my music on, my AirPods on, because I get easily distracted. Well, that wasn't a very good shot, was it? A cannon into the red. It wasn't intentional. Now I've mass messed up that bottom red because uh, I don't think it goes. Does it go? Does it go into the left bottom? See, this was quite a while ago as well, so the, the fun thing is that I have no idea what's happening. Um, uh, I, d I edited the score and everything about two weeks ago, <laughs> so I don't know what's going to happen next. Oh, it does go. Well done. Look at me. Oh, and I roll it forward for the black. Um, yeah, I wear the AirPods just because I get very easily distracted, and I get very easily, um, I don't know, like I'm listening to like other people's conversations and yeah i'm a nightmare for it i do it all the time it's not something I, i'm proud of but I, I listen to other people talk and I'm, i get distracted with things so i have to put the airpods in i have to um sort of drift away which i suppose you could argue well you can't do that in a match but usually snooker tends to be if you're in a competition tends to be in a quieter room so there's a Bit of, bit of quiet there. So this is the point really where I could have gone, mm, I might go on that other table and I did think about it but I didn't I didn't do it. So 69 break. Always tricky those pinks, especially when I'm leaning over like that as a right handed player. That was a tricky from that angle. I tend to miss them. I tend to miss pinks when the white is by the middle and I've got to pot it in the corner. Uh, and I've started to hit the ball a bit harder on those ones instead of rolling them in but Really, it's just about queuing straight. So, another red. We're on 75. So I don't actually remember if I get to a century on this on this um, sesh. I didn't look. Uh, as I said, I sort of edited this quite a bit ago. So I don't really remember. Um, 
But we're on an 82, and if I can get rid of this red, we're on the the reds at the top, which is fun. Yeah. Oh, I've left myself a high black, which is uh, which is brave, brave of me. Uh, so, what do I do? Well, I'll, oh no, I didn't pot it. That was the dodgy pocket, by the way. That's the dodgy pocket. That's probably, yeah, that might have been the best, the best that I did um, all night. 83, so it looks like I just carry on. Uh, but I'm mad. Look at that. You can tell I'm mad. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sign of frustration because I just screwed it in and it actually worked out really, really well. Um, yeah, so 83, not bad. Um, can't comply um so it you know it's it not a bad club st michael's snooker club i think in wakefield there were some other options uh, but this one was so close to my hotel i decided to go for it so um yeah getting a that's my 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 record so far on a normal lineup on camera is 83 let's see if i can beat that next time thanks for watching the video I don't really mind if you subscribe, really. I, I, I just do this for a bit of fun. Anyway, if you got this far, uh, type a secret word into the comments, and the secret word will be Duke. D-U-K-E, if you've got this far. I wish I had something clever to end the video with.